Well, good morning everybody. Welcome to another Prep and Adventures video. Today we're on the Mendips and we're going to go up to Crooks Peak. So it's a Friday the 2nd of November. It's about 20 past 10 in the morning. Crooks Peak, that's where we're going. We should hopefully get some caves in along the way if we're lucky. So let's go. Um, there's the BOV in the uh, lay-by stroke car park. That's the view out across the Somerset levels. Brent Knoll is in the distance. Motorway roaring away over there in the distance. And we go along this path. So hopefully towards the caves. We'll get the caves in first, hopefully. So let's see what, see what happens. That's the way to Crooks Peak, but we're going to the caves first, so we're heading over this way. There you go folks. There's the cave. So we're going to go down and just have a quick look. Okay, we're going to go in the cave. What we're going to do is we took our rucksacks off. We're going to leave them here. And in the side pouch. One torch. So let's go down and see what we can see down in this cave. I believe this cave is a fox's hole. There may be bats down here, we'll see when we get in there. Right, I'm not going to record climbing down this bit. Record once we get to the mouth of the cave. Okay, we just come down the steep slope, we're now at the entrance to the cave, we're going to make our way in there. Um, this camera's not made for dark conditions, but I've got the torch, hopefully we'll get to see something. So we're okay, going to make our way in right now torches on and we're going in this very steep entrance in here um, it's going to turn around you see Ryan coming in All right there Ryan very carefully, it is very steep here. Then we go. Right, we're just gonna so, sorry about that you can't see a lot but you can see what you can see. There's some form of cave leading off that way. Maybe down there. We're gonna go down and have a look. Right, do you want to wait here, because it's very okay. steep here. Okay, Ryan's just going to wait up there. I'm just going to carefully make my way down. One of the first things we see at the bottom of this cave. Rubbish. Thank you. 
Okay, we're in here now. Oh, I do believe I can see a bat. So I'm just gonna zoom in on him if I can. There he is, it's not focusing very well. So that's a tiny little bat just hanging there. Go over here. Definitely a cave leading off that way by the looks of it. Something here as well. I come around. There you go folks, not much of a cave, but I think if you go pot hole in it might lead off somewhere that way. It's very slippery in here. Trying to get the torch and the camera to point in the same spot and watch what you're doing is uh, not that easy. Right, you know, there we go. But it definitely leads off that way somewhere. I'm not equipped to be doing that, leading it going down there. There we go, let's have a look at the entrance, let's have a look on the way out, there we go. I, uh, there's Ryan stood in the entrance. So as I said, I believe this one is Fox's Hole, is the name of this cave. Can't see any other bats around. Just one little bat. I'll try and zoom in on him again. There he is. Not focusing very well, but it is what it is. This camera isn't really good for her in the dark. Right, now to try and get out. That's the way out. So I've got a little bit of a climb, so I'm going to turn the camera off for that. And then film and I'm back up at the entrance again. You okay out there, Ryan? Yeah. So there's Ryan, he's in the cave too. There he is. Right, then I'll turn the camera off, make the way back up to the entrance, I'll turn the camera back off. Right, out we come. Back into daylight. Right, just gonna make our way up this steep slope here and we'll film again when we get it. Okay we just went to the cave, now I said it was Fox's hole, looking at the sat now I was wrong, Danny's hole, there's two caves here, they're quite close to each other, quite close proximity, so that was Danny's hole. So we'll see if we can find the other cave, if not we'll be heading up to Crook's Peak. Okay we've given up looking for the other cave. Um, I think one cave's enough for one day. So we're now going to head up the Crook's Peak. Which is... That way. So we've got a steep old climb ahead of us. As you can see, it's a lovely... Sunny autumn's day, good views. Across the levels, there's the busy M5 motorway. There's Brent Knowles, I mentioned earlier. 
in the distance is the Quantox. Mendips continue on in that direction. We're not far from Cheddar Gorge. Same for the mist, we would have been able to see a bit further. Well, there's a frost this morning and it was really cold. But up here in this sun, we're getting really hot, so our fleeces have come off. Ryan just put his in his bag. I just put mine in mine. Um, it's surprisingly warm, I suppose, of all the walking in that as well. So we just sorted that out. And uh, we'll be heading on in a moment. And there's Crook's Peak, just coming into, into view as we walk up here. We should get a real good view of the surrounding area from there. Right, we'll just stop here for a second. Take a look at this. That's the M5 motorway. And the cars and the lorries have virtually come to a standfill, standstill, rather, going northbound. Here's the, we're actually on the flight path for Bristol Airport and uh, there's some people on their way to go on holiday I'm guessing somewhere. Well that's where we're heading. Well that behind me is Crooks Peak. We're about to go to the top of that. Quite a little climb from here, but unfortunately there is some people up there already, so we're not going to have the place to ourselves. And you can't see them from here, they are there. We'll see what we get when we get there. And there we are, we're at the top. A few people here. That's, that path there is the uh, West Mendip Way. There's the M5 motorway. Snacks here at the top. Before we'll moving on, we will be cooking lunch a little bit later. But for now, it's snack time. Well, it's Halloween a few days ago. So, some of the snacks I got here are Halloween snacks, some Halloween chocolates. So, uh, I'm going to have a ghost chocolate. Okay, so right now we're at Crook's Peak, which is there. We're going to head along this path here, which takes us onto the West Mendip Way. Have a little look around here a bit, then we're going to be walking back down here 
And we'll be trying to find somewhere to have our lunch. Around there somewhere. That's where the car is. That's where the caves were. We've walked up there to the top. And then we're going to head down that way. Right, we're on the move now. Head over that way. Gotta be careful underfoot here. Maybe a bit slippery on these rocks. It's green down just in the distance. We've been to the fort before. Okay, we're just trying to find somewhere now to stop and have lunch. So, uh, head down this way, see if we can find a suitable spot. We have two paths here, both leading to the same place basically. Public footpath, right away. I think we go for the right away, it looks easier when the walk along. Right, well we found a spot for lunch. So we're just gonna cook up something now. We've got the gas stove this time. So that's we basic cook kit, that's always in the BOV. And I'm just gonna use that today. It's an old French gas mask bag, I believe. So I'll just set that up and get lunch on the go. I'm going for about 10 minutes now. Another 10, 15 minutes to go, yep. We have five sausages in there. Three are just ordinary pork sausages. And two of them are pork 
with onion in them. So we can like make a bit of a change. So it's going away nicely on that. The view I got while I was sat cooking at my lunch. Well, lunch is served. One hot dog. Right, we've had our lunch. So this is a bit where I say LNT, leave no trace, left nothing behind at all, you never know we were here. So now it's time to head on back, which means that way. Back at the starting point again, come round in a big circle. So this is where I say thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.